Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you a new knitting method that results in embossed elastic and openwork texture. The pattern is divided into vertical parts of four loops, separated by two purl loops. I will show a new technique for forming this beautiful structure. I'll also share a useful method to get a good side edge of the piece with two extended stitches. To start, cast on stitches that are a multiple of six, and then add two loops for symmetry and four edge loops. After casting on, you need to knit four rows of elastic with two purl loops and four knit loops. The first row is on the right side. We start with the two edge loops. At the beginning and end of the row, we will slip the first with a thread in front and knit the second. We begin knitting the main scheme. Purl 2 Knit 2 Then pull up 3 loops 3 rows down between the loops. Knit 1, make a yarn over loop, and knit 1. Then knit 2. Again, purl 2. Knit 2. Pull up 3 loops 3 rows down. Then knit 2. At the end of the row, out of the scheme, purl 2. Then slip 1 and knit 1. The second row is on the wrong side. After 2 edge loops, knit 2, and purl 2. We need to form two loops from the three loops we created in the previous row without knitting them. First, we will rearrange them. Slip the first and second loops as if you are about to knit them, then slip the third loop. Next, use the left hook to grab the first loop, push the two loops through it, and then drop it. Finally, purl 2 stitches. Again, knit 2, purl 2, and form 2 loops from the 3 loops. Finally, purl 2 stitches. At the end of the row, out of the scheme, knit 2. Then slip 1 and knit 1. The third row is on the right side. After the two edge loops, purl 2. Next are two knit loops, two long, and two knit. We will knit the two long loops together with the first and last loops, creating a slope to the right and left. To create the slope to the right, slip three loops, 
exchange the places of the second and third loops, return them to the left hook, knit two loops together, and then knit one loop. To create the slope to the left, we need to exchange the places of the first and second loops, knit one loop, and then knit two loops together. Again, purl 2. To create the slope to the right, slip 3 loops, exchange the places of the second and third loops, return them to the left hook, knit 2 loops together, and knit 1. To create the slope to the left, exchange the places of the first and second loops, knit 1, and then knit 2 loops together. At the end of the row, out of the scheme, purl 2. Then slip 1 and knit 1. The fourth row is on the wrong side. After the two edge loops, knit 2. Purl 4. Again, knit 2, purl 4. At the end of the row, out of the scheme, knit 2. Then slip 1 and knit 1. I showed you this chic basic knit featuring interestingly textured vertical openwork sections. It works well with any kind of yarn and any season for blouses, sweaters, and cardigans. I hope you will find this knitting technique helpful for your next projects, and I highly recommend it. If you found the video helpful, please click the thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications so you never miss a video. Click my Knit Not Space Shop icon or the link in the description below the video to see my knit creations and get them for yourself or as a gift. Thank you for being a part of this, and I am excited to see you soon.